Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide and we are on June 30th, 2024. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes and world weather. Always starting out here looking at the sun for the past two days. Imagery brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. No major solar flares to talk about, nor new plasma filament eruptions, but still keeping an eye on those north and south filaments. Looking here at imagery, cresting in, big sunspot grouping getting ready for an earth-facing party, and as well, plasma filaments stretching from the surface, turning into view. Going to be keeping an eye on these over the next couple of days. We saw a pretty large one erupt yesterday. Looking at the last 48 hours outgoing, this is where we see that eruption right there. And as well, a couple bursts from the sunspot region outgoing. It's looking at multi-spectrum, pointing out the filaments. Notable. And as well, there is a coronal hole developing in the northern region of our sun. And equatorial behind that very busy and large sunspot grouping. Having a look at 171 angstroms, just another amazing way to see our sun. Take a quick moment to thank you all for watching tonight. Thank you for all your subscriptions and welcome to the family. Right now, we have 15 sunspot regions active. A quick look at these sunspot regions in motion. Still two big black holes, one turning away, one Earth facing. You could probably fit about four Earths in the size of those black holes. Current space weather conditions, there are none to, to, to talk about. Solar winds are still hitting us at over 500 kilometers per second, 505 right now. Solar X-ray flux remains in a low C range. A couple moderate C-class solar flares throughout the day today. Proton flux is low, geomagnetic activity up to a KP3 at one point today after being up to an 8 yesterday. Having a look here at the space weather prediction spiral showing our next solar storm when it's expected first into the 2nd of July and then again third into the 4th. Little green circle on the right hand side is Earth bottom imagery showing north and south but this definitely will be giving us a blow solar storms expected from July 1st and into the July 5th ISWA space prediction spiral showing the most recent CME taking off from our sun little yellow circle here on this one is earth And last go to showing the last three days of imagery. Only one major CME from the plasma filament eruption yesterday. Right there. Still pretty fluid motion all around our sun right now with 15 sunspots that are earth facing right now. Who knows how many are on the backside. Again, we are well above predicted values already. Solar Cycle 25 hasn't even really put on a show yet, but it's coming. Now let's get to earthquakes the last 24 hours. It looks like a small earthquake map, but most of these earthquakes have been striking Hawaii. That's right, the Kilauea volcano has been seeing multiple earthquakes throughout the day today. 207 across the big island of Hawaii out of the 390 earthquakes across the world according to USGS. Quick zoom in here southeast of the Kilauea caldera summit. 186 earthquakes. So heads up Hawaii. Kilauea has been shaking in waves as of late and still a very crusted over and quiet dormant summit caldera. So stay tuned. We'll keep you updated as it, as it all happens. Marianas Trench, Mog Islands, saw a 5.2 magnitude earthquake, but 600 kilometer depth 
as well as a very deep earthquake here in Palembang, Philippines, 527 kilometer depth. Notable there, Indonesia, 4.2, 5.2, Western Indonesia. And as well, notable earthquake here, 207 kilometer depth, Papua New Guinea. Quiet through Fiji, Iran, Sarpul, Iran, reporting a 5.0 magnitude. All of a sudden, the Atlantic's quiet. Same with South America, same with Central America. Heads up, everybody, something is a brewing, especially with all this activity at Hawaii. Hopefully, the volcano actually awakens and releases some pressure because if not, we could see some intense releases across the Pacific Ocean. Much love, everybody, and heads up. If you live in an earthquake-prone zone, please just be ready. Have a go bag ready and have a plan. Let's have a look at the last seven days for earthquakes around the world. Very busy map. Largest being the 7.2 struck Peru. Notable increasing activity through India. And pretty quiet across western parts of the Ring of Fire. But increasing activity down into the Kermitic Trench as well. Alaska seeing a lot of activity this week. No new volcanoes to talk about. No new eruptions. Still 48 active and erupting across the planet. Having a look here at the SO2 forecast. Brought to you by Windy.com. This is showing the next three days. Big plume moving across the United States and into Canada. And as well, big plume South America. Lots of wildfires down there. That's probably helping. Looking across Indonesia, Southeast Asia, Eastern Russia. Notable players there. Kamchatka. About four or five volcanoes. Been steadily active on that island for quite some time. Overlooking Europe, Africa. Notable eruption at Mount Etna this week. Big SO2 plume coming out of Italy. Now let's get to weather here. Brought to you by Windy.com. We're going to start out here with forecast models for Tropical Storm Barrel. As he has quickly turned into a Category 4 hurricane. There's that last tropical system. And then a watch here, Tropical Storm Barrel, roaring in through Jamaica, Wednesday into Thursday, Guatemala, Thursday into Friday, and then Saturday into Sunday making landfall in Mexico, Tropical Storm Barrel most likely will retain its Category 4 strength with a very warm Gulf of Mexico. As well notable here across the United States, Watch for extreme weather to break out, especially through the Canadian prairies and central United States. Tuesday into Wednesday, watch for some really extreme weather through parts of Manitoba and northern Ontario. Could see some very wild weather with that low-pressure system scooting across the prairies. No major hurricanes, tropical systems forecasted in the long range, but there's still a couple areas of interest we're going to be keeping an eye on and watching for pop-ups through the central Atlantic. Here is current satellite imagery showing the last three hours of imagery as it did turn into a Category 4 hurricane. Barrel packing winds of over 180 miles per hour as a Category 4 hurricane. Amazing images here. Eye wall. Massive eye wall of this very strong and intense storm. Now the, the vast size of it is very large. And as well, the eye of the hurricane is very large. And there's a lot of moisture wrapped up around this system right now. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for wanting to stay aware and prepared with daily events worldwide. All these amazing images brought to you by windy.com. 
an app that you can download yourself and get these forecast models and amazing satellite images. Have a quick look here at infrared as it is heading towards Trinidad and Tobago, the port of Spain and Kingstown, Bridgetown, making landfall within the next 36 to 48 hours. And again, look at the size of this eye wall of Hurricane Barrel. First Category 4 Atlantic Hurricane, third tropical system of the season. Amazing stuff and much more to come. So stay tuned, subscribe, like, and share. Now let's have a look over Southeast Asia as we do have some intense monsoon rains that are developing all this week. Extreme weather, flash flooding all through parts of Myanmar, northern India, and as well Thailand. Vietnam, flash floods, heavy rains, torrential downpours, and strong system here developing for South and North Korea. Quite possibly typhoon material making landfall July 8th into the 9th. But long line of extreme weather following in behind there. Going to leave you here looking at the Pacific Ocean as we still have a lot of high pressure ridges. Pretty dominant keeping low pressure systems north. Keeping things very dry along the west coast the United States and southern Canada. Thank you all for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the show. Stay aware and prepared. Stay awake. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.